We're back with another video. And today we're gonna be making chicken pot pie. Some call it the female genitalia of food. Others just say it's bloody delicious. So grab onto something, put on your protective equipment, and let's get into it. Get ready. Let's make it. Okay, to start off, we're gonna make our puff pastry. So to a large bowl, add two cups of flour. Add one teaspoon of fine sea salt. We're gonna go ahead and mix this together. Now get your cheese grater. And I put this brick of butter in the freezer for about 20 minutes so that it stays really cold. We're gonna wanna grate about two cups of butter. Okay, now grab our flour again and add the cold butter into it. Just mix this up with a fork. You wanna deal with the dough as little as possible. As soon as you put your hands in, the butter will start to melt from the heat of your hands. So this, I'm adding just cold water. Add a little bit at a time, and you only wanna add enough so that it just comes together. Just knead it, just cover with plastic wrap, and put in the fridge for about 20 minutes. All right, it's been 20 minutes. Now we just wanna lightly flour our work surface, and we grab our dough and we want to make this into a rough rectangle. All right, once you have a rough rectangle, we're gonna perform envelope folds. So what you want to do is fold one side, two thirds of the way over, and then the last third over top of it. Then roll it out into a rectangle again. Another for a second fold. We're gonna do five total folds. All right, we've done five folds and the dough is really stiff now. You just wanna wrap this with plastic wrap. Now just place this in the fridge for about an hour while you complete the rest of your stuff. Now get a cast iron pan over medium heat. It's best to use a cast iron because we can finish the whole recipe in this one pan. Add just a couple tablespoons of oil. Okay, now that the pan's hot, we're gonna add two chicken breasts. Add a little bit of salt to the top because you wanna control your seasoning until the end. Okay, now after a couple minutes, we're just gonna flip them. Okay, now that we've got a bit of a sear on them, we're just gonna put them in a 400 degree oven to finish until they reach 165 internal temperature. And while that's in the oven, we can put some work on some vegetables. Okay, now we have to peel some pearl onions. Honestly, this is pretty time consuming. It can get a little bit annoying. I just cut off the root and then just peel them. All right, now that they're all peeled, I'm just gonna cut them in half widthwise so that they hold together better. And the really small ones, I'm just gonna leave whole. You want about a cup total. All right, now for our celery root, also known as celeriac. To clean this, we want to just cut off the root part and then just use a peeler to just get all the hard outside off. I'm probably only gonna use half from here. We want about one quarter to half inch cubes. Again, we just want about a cup of this. All right, now we got some beautiful baby carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and peel them. Cut a little bit of the way down. And then when they start getting too thick, I just want to slice it down the middle. And then just peel and chop three cloves of garlic. Okay, now our chicken is cooked and has been rested. I'm just gonna slice it up into about quarter inch thick cube. You can shred it if you want to, it's just preference. Now that everything's prepped, it's gonna be a lot easier to cook. Because everything's ready, you can just throw it in when you have to. I'm using the same cast iron that I cooked the chicken, so you've got all those chicken juices in there. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter, just a little bit of oil. We're gonna go in with the pearl onions. And once they get just a little bit of nice color, we're gonna go in with our cup of celery root. Only gonna cook this for about a minute or two, and then we're gonna go in with our carrots. I'm gonna add a pinch of kosher salt and some pepper. And we're gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes just until everything's softened. We're gonna go in with the garlic. We're only gonna cook off this garlic for about a minute, then add four tablespoons of flour. Now that the flour is cooked off, we're gonna add two cups of chicken stock. Now that it's come to a boil and it's gotten a lot thicker, we're gonna add our chopped chicken and a cup of frozen peas. You just wanna cut off your heat and then add two thirds of a cup of cream, a bunch of chopped parsley, and then just a few sprigs of tarragon.
The cheese is optional. Actually, no, it's not. You have to add cheese, it's mandatory. Okay, now this is where you taste for seasoning. It needs a good amount of salt. All right, now that we're done the filling, we just want this to completely cool. It doesn't have to be super cool, just leave it off to the side while we finish our puff pastry. Flour the work surface a little bit. Then you wanna just roll it in a rough circle about as wide as the cast iron pan. Then we just grab our pan that's completely cool and then just lay over your puff pastry. And then you wanna roll the edges. And it's fine to go like this, but we're gonna do a little crimping. So you take two fingers here, and I'm just gonna brush it with egg yolk. All right, now this goes into a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. And there it is, guys. I goofed it a little bit, so make sure you put a baking tray underneath because it overflowed into the oven. But other than that, mm. Woo. damn, that's good. All right, I'm gonna finish this plate. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me out a lot. Leave a comment below on what you want me to make next, and I'll see you in the next video.